Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jared Bergman. We are going to talk a bit about EMF protection today. In the natural healthcare field, my wife and I, as she is also a doctor, have had the privilege to help all over the world. We've had an extensive knowledge in EMF protection for several years now, and how the exposure of EMF can be a detriment to our biological makeup, our, our health. So 15 years ago, we began researching how to help or remedy this, this issue. Nothing met our standards that we could find. So we went out and we interviewed and spent several hours with scientists and doctors and geophysicists to figure out a solution or to come across what we could give to the public that would help them. Finally, we found this group of doctors and geophysicists that were working on the same problem. We collaborated and we came up with a solution. So let's get into it. Now as we go through this, I want you to keep in mind this piece of key information. That everything is energy and that's all there is to it. This is not philosophy. This is just physics. That's what Albert Einstein said. So just remember that as I'm talking through this. It's a very important point. So let's take a look at our health and how that affects us. So we know all of these things bombarding us, you know, we have the, the light and we have the radiation from it, we have smoke, we have all of these toxins out there. So what do we do? Well, we take our supplements, we exercise, we try and take care of ourselves, right? But without this key component addressed, the exposure to electromagnetic frequencies, we're spinning our wheels. Now, I'm saying that all of these factors are very important. And you should implement all of these factors. But again, make sure you have this very important component in place in your life. Because what? Because everything is energy. Let's take a look at the cell. Let's take it down to a, a smaller view. That way we can get a better picture of the bigger outlook on things. So if we look at this cell, look at all these intricate parts to the cell. Well, the cell has a semi-crystalline in matrix. So parts of the cell have basically crystals. What do crystals do? They hold information. They hold a resonance or almost a vibratory aspect to them. Take a look at a crystal glass. And when you hold it and you flick it with your finger or ding it or you do that circle around the rim of it to create that noise, it vibrates to a certain pitch or a certain resonating frequency. Well, similar to the DNA in the cell. The DNA is semi-crystalline in matrix. So what happens is that vibratory state that takes place in the cell when the cell is slightly under pressure that emits photonic light from the cell, from, from your DNA component. And this photonic light can be measured with very sensitive, highly sensitive cameras. Carillion camera is the most widely used. So we have all these different components to this cell and we have a field, an electrochemical field in the cell as well, made up of what? Well, the potassium, the sodium, magnesium, just to name a few. So this natural occurring electromagnetic field in the cell in combination with the crystal matrix of the cell creates what? Everything is energy, right? It creates energy. So when you have an electromagnetic, man-made electromagnetic signal coming in, that's chaotic in nature, by the way. So if you could hear what your cell is experiencing, it would drive you crazy because the signal is so chaotic. So that throws the cell out of balance. Now we're talking about one cell. Well, put a bunch of those cells together and what do you have? Well, you have an organ. You put more of those cells together and what do you have? You have several organs and you get the picture. It makes up trillions of cells, make up our body. So let's take a look at our, one of our particular cases in the Carillion photography. So we measured a subject before a cell phone call. At the baseline, we had 27 organs out of 52 that were in the dangerous zone. 
Now we had this same subject make a cell phone call and during the cell phone call, all 52 organs were out of range. Now the next step was to put the Hedron cell phone harmonizer on the cell phone, then have the subject make the call. Now look at what happened. 51 out of 52 organs are now in range. So what does this tell us? This tells us the person was better off with the cell phone and the harmonizer on the cell phone than no cell phone at all, right? So how can this be? How does this affect our body? Well, you have something called, with each cell, you have something called the cellular permeability. That is when the nutrients come in the cell and you detoxify what's in the cell, the waste of the cell, out of the cell. That's a naturally occurring process. But when you cause chaos in the cell via the electromagnetic frequency coming in, what that does is that locks the DNA, locks it down in a way where the cell, it can't operate the sodium, potassium pumps, calcium channels in the body. It can't get those toxins to move freely, nor can it get the nutrients to move freely. So when you can harmonize the cell in its energy or in its field, you create a healthier environment so that the cell can move more freely, so that the flow of toxin can go out of the cell. It balances that chaotic signal, decreasing the likelihood of you producing free radicals. Because if your cell is full of toxin, what's going to happen? What's going to start to break down via free radicals? Free radicals are going to tear it down. It's going to form oxidation. And when and if that oxidation gets so bad, that starts to damage your DNA. The specific energy that we utilize to help the body harmonize itself actually strengthens the hydrogen bonds within the cell, within the whole body. But what is important about those hydrogen bonds is it helps hold our DNA together and be more resilient. These are some of the more recent studies using the cell phone for one hour a day increases the risk of a mutagenic disease about 500%. The other numbers even higher for children because the absorption is so much greater for a child. For an adult, the absorption is like 25%. For a child under five years old or five years or younger, it is approximately 75% absorption. So these are definitely some things not to ignore because we are surrounded as a society by these frequencies. They're coming from everywhere. Now, I believe over in um, Europe and I think in Canada now, they're requiring that the Wi-Fi units be taken away from the nurseries at least, which... In reality, that's, that's a, a step in the right direction. However, more needs to be done because that's definitely not a good enough step. The World Health Organization now officially classifies cell phones or cell phone radiation as a Class B carcinogen, but not enough is going into the prevention and protection for people at this point. There's so much information out there now uh, prior to, I think it was 1986, there was only like 135 studies done on cellular communication devices and, and cell phones, things like that. After that, there are more than 2,000, and it's growing fast. So that's telling us that, you know, yeah, we're looking at it, but how long do we have to wait before they come out with the information saying, well, oops, we have to take some preventative measures here. So what we did was we utilized the Schumann resonance, the 7.83 hertz. Everybody needs that resonance. It is everywhere, but when it's targeted or localized to a specific device, that can help in greatly harmonizing the frequency that is put out by that device. The Hedron Harmonizer has 12 specific minerals and crystals, along with scalar energy and the Schumann resonance impregnated into it to give us that frequency effect, that harmonizing effect to the body and to all of our cells. 
One of the things that makes our device so unique is the scalar energy. Scalar energy occupies the space that it's in, meaning it is more like a field. It's not like a linear wave. So whatever it's connected to, it actually occupies that space and the space around it. So if you can think of an energy field that's in the shape of a donut, really, that space is taken up by this scalar energy, therefore harmonizing any frequencies that come in contact with that device. And the Schumann wave, the 7.83 frequency, is only an enhancement of this scalar energy. These are some of the features of our harmonizer. Uh, the California Institute of Electronics Mechanic Sciences, uh, they showed that it shielded up to 99.95% radiation. It's also proven to decrease heat emission by 80%, which is fantastic because I knew that my cellular devices would heat up like crazy if I don't have this on it. And then also, yes, like I said, the scalar technology and the Schumann resonance that we impregnated into the device as well. The specific absorption rate of radiation into the body, it was uh, compliant with that. Yeah, and this was also a big point here. We have 4G right now, and some are, are saying that we're having the 6G coming soon as well. But our harmonizer is at actually rated for 9.375 gigahertz. So it has a um, big protection gap, if you want to call it that. This technology is definitely not going away. I can only see it growing, as I'm sure all of you realize. Our device has patent on it. It also has money-back guarantee, and we have clinical studies. We also carry the Hedron Body Harmonizer. So what this is, this has the key mineral of shungite in it, which is basically for biofield pr protection. It's like uh, antioxidant for your biofield. It has everything the cell phone harmonizer has in it, but with the added shungite. This just definitely gives the body an extra boost. I notice it when I'm running and I forget it. Um, other people that I have worked with are using it. They actually taped it to a joint that has been bothering them on their workouts or their runs because they feel that it, it does such a great job at keeping their joint from being sore during the run and after the run. So if you're looking for, I guess you could say, a, a step up on the competition, whether you're a weekend warrior or you're an athlete or whoever, really, this is a great one to have. Uh, it also protects against um, geographic stress as well, if you're familiar with that. Moving on to our home harmonizer. This device has everything the cell phone harmonizer and the body shield have in it just in different proportions and specific geometry is involved also with the making of this this covers 1000 square feet in a home now if you have a bigger home you're going to need more of these but some of the best places to put this would be if you know where a cell phone tower is and if you look out the window most of you could probably see one um, unfortunately today but you want to put it on that wall that's that's adjacent to where that the direction of where that cell phone would be or on the wall by a smart meter and it also works great in a person's bedroom because the number one issue people have that are sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies is they can't sleep they have an insomnia issue so it works well in those places ideally if you have a big home or office type setting you have at least three of these if not four on the all four outside walls of your building so like i said before when we t we take care of ourselves in all these different ways like the exercise the nutrition etc but we don't look at the energy aspect so much so in order for all of those things to really strengthen our our bodies, we have to look at the energy because we're we're made up of energy. 
Remember, everything's made up of energy. So energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be transformed.